Welcome back everyone to the BD1P Binding of Isaac modded series. Today is going to be a random tainted character run for win number one and episode number 326. Yes, sadly the uh, soft lock last time has put our win streak back to a sad number zero, but not a huge deal. What's new? Your question for today is going to be put your answer in the comments down below. What is the most frightening animal to be a zombie? We play as this character a lot, I feel like. I'm kind of inclined to do a, a very quick uh, re-roll here. I don't hate T. Bethany, but we I feel like when we play a random Tainted, it's always like T. Bethany, modded character, T. Bethany, modded character. And Tainted Eve is a lot more unique to me. Don't crash. Thank you. Seed, by the way, is going to be JQR7H81. So... It's no surprise to any of you uh, longer time fans of this streak that I think zombies are pretty cool. Uh, I've been watching a lot of The Walking Dead in the last couple of months, and as someone who grew up and like, was a teenager in the 20 teens, zombies were always a pretty big part of the media that, that my generation consumed. So it's only natural that we would all find zombies to be very epic, and to be honest, like they are one of, I think, media's greatest quote unquote mythical creatures. I mean, they raise a very important like moral and ethical dilemma and more importantly, they're also cool as shit. Like the idea of a human coming back to life without a trace of who they used to be in, in most, you know, uh, situations, it's, it's really, really cool. And uh, I, I think that it beats out practically like every other uh, modern mythical creature. Ooh, that's really good to have off the bat here that I've, I've at least seen uh, in recent times. And besides just walking, wa besides just walking, besides just watching The Walking Dead, uh, I did watch a zombie movie recently, uh, a very, very popular and also like insanely good movie called Train to Busan. It's a, a f I think it's a Korean film, uh, but it's like these guys are going on a train to a, a neighboring city about an hour away, but on the train, a zombie outbreak breaks out across the country, and they're all kind of screwed. Uh, and it's, it's a surprisingly, like, emotionally, I wouldn't say heavy, but uh, it does have some pretty heavy emotional beats in the movie. It's small, 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 tiny spoiler, but that one guy who uh, gave his life for his wife to go on and... A big spoiler here, the uh, main character who sacrificed himself for his daughter and that same lady. I mean, those were some pretty, like, heavy scenes. Desi was crying watching it, which I'm not going to fault her for at all. But th there's a scene right in the beginning of that movie where this dude, like, hits a deer with his truck, right? And the deer comes back to life. And Desi raised a very, like, interesting point. Desi says she hates when movies do the animals are also zombies because it, it opens up a door to a bunch of uh, other really weird shit to happen. Like, at what point like do the, do the animals hunt the other same, like, species of that animal? Uh, are they instinctively trying to go for blood as well? I mean, if, if an animal can come back, why not when insects die? Like, what's, where's the limit? And I thought, that's a really good point. But more importantly to me, what animal would be the scariest animal to be a zombie? Like, what if you were to see, like, a zombie, like, tiger, would you shit your pants? And, I mean, I, I would obviously shit my pants in that situation, but is there an animal scarier than, like, a tiger that could be a zombie? And the, the answer has to be yes. So there's got to be something else out there. And I wanted to discover uh, and, and kind of discuss today what would that animal be? Isn't that, like, really good for this character? Because uh, we can now, like, use blood banks and uh, stuff to farm infinite clot friends, I'm pretty sure, because it drops a half heart in that regard. It's still really, really good. Let's just go fight the boss. Uh, and we got to discuss a few things first. Oh, fuck. We might be in this room for a minute. I might just speed this fight up. It's going to take us eons to get through Headless Horseman uh, with this DPS on floor one. Give me a quick second. Okay, we're just about done. We have the Pony Synergy mod installed as well for uh, better like flight dash attack things. Is there anything we can use down here? Uh, I'm gonna pop this in here for maybe, like, a little bit more money. 
I heard no money or secret rooms open up, which blows, but all you can really do now, I forgot there was a tinted rock in here. Can I get a bomb? Can you forgive me and give me a bomb and, like out of a poop somehow? Or like a petrified poop into like a dime? Ah, uh, it's, it's not gonna happen, is it? I mean, we can go to our shop. It is free on your first floor. There is no bomb to steal in here. Okay, well, that's still pretty good to see. Uh, you know what, dude? Like, you made a mistake. Live with it and just move on down. But I want to discuss a couple of things. Number one, in a zombie apocalypse, you have to take shelter. Being out in the wild is the most dangerous place to be. And from what I've watched in all my zombie media, the best place to be in regards to zombies being real is probably out like on the water getting like a raft or finally i would say a lake is like probably the best place to be because you're close enough where you can go back to land and scavenge for stuff but you're also far away from shore where zombies probably couldn't get to you and that i think is like the the ideal situation now there, there could be a couple issues with that, like maybe uh, there are some zombies that know how to swim or after a while the bodies pile up to make kind of like a bridge to your raft. That for sure could be an issue, but if you're able to kill zombies in this like hypothetical situation, like if you're able to... We can actually go in here for free, can't we? Uh, and maybe get a battery charge on the dash out. Oh, buddy, please. Huh, I, I really don't want to give up. Um... That was insane. I really don't want to give up the pony. It, flight this early on is a blessing. And uh, magic skin tends to... Do my plot friends... No, they're all alive. Magic skin tends to cause more issues than it's actually worth. So I'm just going to skip skin for now. But if we're talking like walking dead rules, you can stab a zombie in the head and it dies. And you, you get like just pretty much a free kill on the water. If there are zombies floating towards you, you get like a big fishing net or a big pole, you drag them slightly towards you, and then you stab them in the head and dump the bodies on the land somewhere to make it. Maybe make, make a barricade with them, like a pile up, so other zombies can't see you from wherever you may be in the world. That like I think being on the water has a lot of advantages. And obviously a zombie fish, it's, you can just go back to land. Gives familiar, rerolls familiar crowns. Uh... Yeah, it's not going to work for us right now. Uh, if we had that in the future, sure, but I kind of want to keep the lover's card for when we have more uh, expendable HP. But the water is the safest place to be. And you're not going to want to say that a, a fish or a shark or a squid could be the best zombie because at that point, you just go on land. So then it comes down to what is a land, sea, and also maybe even air creature that uh, could get you no matter pretty much where you are and could pose a threat in any situation. And my mind immediately goes to birds, because you could say like, oh, amphibious creatures like platypuses or muskrats or uh, a Ouija board. That's actually really good with this character, because you get a nice little spread shot, and it applies to your familiars as well. Beautiful stuff. Uh, amphibious creatures, sure, because they can swim pretty fast, and a lot of them can walk on land decently fast as well, but uh, they're always so tiny, and, and like vaguely non-threatening uh that i feel like it's the wrong call to say a platypus would be a i would rather say like a lion or a tiger because they, they can always swim they just can't like go underwater or swim super fast yes i'm also gonna skip that devil room for right now why don't you go how much does the lover's card take away my eyes acknowledge is 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 not giving me a good uh can I drop this card? There we go. You know what? We'll just do it right here. Bloody card. Yeah, that's really good. So every time you get hit, you have a chance to trigger the card that you're holding. This with hypercoagulation in an arcade, that's pretty all right. Uh, might be a recipe for just like a, a free win. So we're going to try to find a really good card, whether it be um, like Justice or a Reverse Moon anything like that, and we're going to try to farm those. You can leave the floor. I think you'll be fine to leave the floor. And Dark Prince's Crown gives us a huge boost right now for our current stats. You can fly on. My active item didn't trigger there. I, I hit the button, but I guess I was still in the pickup animation. We can just go in here, I guess, and that's habit. Sure. I, I don't mind grabbing a habit right now either. And a full heal? 
This, oh my god, you're... I hate the enemies that shoot the same colored tears as me. Like, why do you have to do that? There's no reason that you'd have to do that. And now I gotta get my HP back up so I can uh, get my, my crown bonus. There we go. And you just do not want to go below one red heart. This room should still be a net positive for you. Uh, just be a little bit cautious. Okay, good. Pop that open. I'm gonna go gamer for a minute here again. Okay, they're just about dead. Uh, and what I was saying earlier about the zombie stuff is it has to be like a flying creature. Because a flying creature can get you both on land and at sea. And is, is very easy to like, they, they can dodge around you pretty well. Which I think is like a big thing. If, if zombies are fairly easy to kill because they're stupid creatures, you need one that like, in their own intrinsic... I hate this room. Why did I do this? Why, what, what made me think this is a good idea. Well, we won. We get $3 bill. Really not worth it. Uh, what about you, Mother's Ring? Can I get, like, a good rune? Hey, you know what? That was extremely profitable. That's gonna be, like, $8 million plus a couple luck upgrades in there as well. I'm very happy to see that. Uh, yeah, 60 cents. I mean, as long as you... I'm gonna pop the stars card right now because I need a little bit extra for DPS, but... As long as you don't die before you find your shop, you've got a, a win on your hands. I think relatively quickly here, but it's got to be a flying creature. Because birds, like, they're quick, naturally, so that kind of solves the whole killing them easily sort of uh, conundrum. Oh no, you're a champion. This is not good. For me, okay, that was actually quite a good play, I feel like. Uh, and when I think of, like, deadly birds, a hawk comes to mind first. I know hawks aren't very common uh and that's like another thing you had to take an account for i know that oh we're dead we're not living this room are we there's too much okay they'll kill us in one hit by the way oh my god and the, i think the mini e salves can also hurt us might have not been a good thing to pick up there but I know hawks aren't that common. However, if you encountered a zombie hawk, what are the odds you live through that? And I want you to be honest with me. If a zombie hawk is set on eating your brains and your flesh and drinking your blood, ooh, that's really helpful. What are the odds you live that? I'm I'm safe to say I'm chalking that up to like a rough help. Uh, a rough zero. I feel like hawks are with their talons and in this situation again, they're pretty hard to stab in the brain. Small heads, small target to hit. Also, again, fast, agile, light, all of the above. Okay, that's actually really good to see. Because we can always get rid of HP by just holding down the fire button. And getting a bunch more clot friends to do our bidding for us. Because I do want to go look for a full clear for an arcade. Because uh, arcades are going to be game breaking. As well as the shop is going to be mega important. Uh, so if you can't hit the hawk, you can barely kill it, then it's only a matter of time before it gets you. Now, you could obviously go inside and hide from it, but you can hide from every creature. I think, like, the idea of, like, oh, you can go in a house and hide, you can hide from pretty much any outdoor creature. Sure, like a bear or, like, a lion tiger, like, they can, ooh, that's, that's a potential game break card right there. Um, sure, they can, like, break down your door, but hawks and birds can also probably break open a window. If they aren't concerned for their health or their safety... I can see some, like, kamikaze hawks, you know, jumping through uh, your window. Please be careful. The biggest issue is when you recall your clots after doing a dash, you get back to full HP, which ruins your Dark Prince's crown, but uh, it's not a super lengthy process to get it back down. Okay. I don't really care for that. Um, that could be okay. I'll take it for now. Magician, don't care for. I do want to buy a key. We are kind of low on keys, and I'm going to go look for an arcade, and then I think we'll be safe to move on down. The floor goes on for a bit longer, so a planetarium, cursed, or, sorry, sacrifice room. Um, nah, it's nothing over here. You know what? That's fine. You, you tried your best. It didn't pan out. That's okay. Any drops here? We get an extra key, and we, had, we do have one more room. Probably just going to skip. Well, no, you want to go back into here. Again, the more clots you have, the way better. Uh, and then you're safe to move on down. 
And again, I am just one person trying to think, so I, I could be missing like a very important detail about Hawks that I have no idea what it could be. So if I'm wrong, like you have, a, you have a better idea than me, let me know down below. But I'm just thinking in terms of like, you can't live your entire life inside of a house. You need to go out and scavenge in this situation. You need to go out and go, go you know, like look at warehouses and run down stores and other encampments. Like you have to be out of the house to survive. Get fresh water is one of the other big things. So a hawk like keeps you inside. You could very easily stay on a raft or somewhere out on like a lake and a lion or a tiger you'll get the upper hand in attacking. It might be very scary because they're they're deadly creatures, but you'd have the upper hand in attacking them while they're in the water. Again, like, you have a ranged weapon, or you have a, a pole or a stick, whatever it may be. Yes. So this should work, right? And with the Polaroid invincibility, oh, baby. We can farm for blood bags, IV bags. We may even want to take an IV bag I don't know if IV bags are going to work, like, the way they should. They might. I don't, I don't know if they're going to give us hearts. I think it's just, like, I think they would work, but I'd rather keep, um, damn, no Polaroid right now, huh? But I would much rather keep the flight. And there's an HP upgrade for us. Fantastic. Play this machine just a little bit here. Uh, a D20 shard. Huh. Go deeper. Nothing there. Look at all of our clot friends, dude. Look at this shit. This is insane. I guess that would have been good had we had the prior knowledge. So I think I'll hold on to that for now. Um, if we find, like, another arcade and a couple of floors we can take advantage of. That... I'm kind of fine with our stats right now, though. I don't want to, like, play God too much. Actually, you know what I could do instead is if you drop me, you drop me enough stuff. I'm just going to do this. I'm going to play you out, and I'm going to D20 shard in this room once you finally pay out. But again, if I am missing a big thing about, like, like maybe tigers have flippers that I don't know about because they're crazy, I, I get I, I really don't know. I was going to do it now. Yeah, that was a decent play. We get, um, duct tape? Hey, I'd rather not have, if we can, like, get all of our guys into one little circle here. Here's what I'm thinking. They still move. So, I'm, I think duct tape is actually, like, bad to have. So, drop that. Stand still to drop it, of course. I'm being a fool right now. Take your tower card, and uh, you already saw your item room? No, you have not seen it. That was like the first thing. I, I, for some reason, my brain was like, you're on the end of the floor. We have not done shit on this floor yet, so I'm, I'm not even gonna... Clot friends? Well, all of our clot friends are just dead. Uh, maybe the pony is actually a bad thing to have, and if I do get an IV bag... Might be better just to take that. <laughs> now that I'm thinking about it with the pony situation here, and IV bag doesn't sound too bad right now. I'll be honest. All right, the item room is going to give us multi-dimensional baby. This is one of the times where I will take that. And what about you, sir? I kind of want to see if I can get my clot friends away from that man down there. Uh, you pay out with, like, dice shards, I think somebody said. Or, oh, okay. Um... Maybe it was just, like, treasure room pool items. Either way, I'm happy to see a lost contact. Can't go wrong with that, now can you? This should be a decently easy room as well. The thing with Curse of Lost is it's just, like, an artificial run extender. It doesn't do anything to hinder your ability to, like, find secret rooms or find, like, special rooms of your boss fight. It just makes it take longer. Because I could very easily go back and retrace every single one of my steps to find the secret room. Or I could just move on. Like, it's just, it makes it the game boring. If I could remove one curse, it would be Curse of the, uh, the Lost here. At least Curse of the Unknown, like, makes your HP harder to manage. And Curse of the Maze, uh, can actually help you, uh, if you put the rooms in the right order. I guess you take it. You don't even really have a trinket right now, so sure. Okay, flip this around right here. Lovely. 
Get in there, and now hold down the fire button. I think you lost all of your clot friends there. Yeah, the pony's not really doing it for me anymore, man. Explosivo shot? Uh, okay. Yeah, that was really good timing for that one. And an angel deal. Sure. Again, not gonna turn that down. That is a very good item. That gives us holy light shots if we shoot through the lantern familiar. I think? Yes. I didn't quite understand the item last time, but I have gained a heightened uh, knowledge for it now. Goodbye. Not even one soul heart? Asshole. Okay, moving on down. But I, I understand, like, if you are landlocked somehow in this... Oh, the uh, camera, please. If you are landlocked somehow in this situation um, with the zombies, and you're in a country that has, like, an abundance or even just, like, a small collection of lions or tigers... Yeah, like, that's gonna be pretty bad for you. But if you can find a way to get to the water, I'm just saying, they they really couldn't get the upper hand on you. Even if they're, like, swimming to you when you're sleeping, as long as someone in your party is, like, taking watch, then, I mean, is there really any risk? I mean, they're brightly colored, so you're gonna see them coming from a while a, 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 a mile away. I don't know why I said a while away. A while's away? I think that's a phrase, I think. Something like that, a while's away. I could be being an idiot, though. Um, and they also are loud. And that's the thing, too, is like in, in every media that I've seen zombies in, you know they're coming because they, they growl, they snarl. Like, they, they're naturally very loud creatures. So you really aren't going to be able to get snuck up by one. As long as somebody in your party is awake and conscious, then the only thing... That's stopping you is that person being a dumbass or you being on land where the zombie slash tiger thing can charge at you. Because zombies are also fast. I mean, in, in Walking Dead, they're pretty slow. But in Train to Busan, those zombies are faster than the average human. It's like they don't care about being tired and they just want to go and they're hungry. Now, Train to Busan zombie rules would be interesting. Because at that point, like, if, if an animal with the zombie virus bites you... Do you get the same thing but humanized? Like, that's what kind of confuses me. And I think Desi was on the right track here. If animals can become zombies, and it's not just like mammals, yeah, I'll, I'll give it a try here. Then, if like, there's a fly or a gnat in the room with you, does that fly or that gnat, if, if it bites you or like touches you, do you also gain the virus? I mean, She's right. Where does it end? Like, in that in that situation, you'd have to live in a bug-free... I can't turn that fast. A, a bug-free zone to avoid the virus. And that's, that's not going to happen. Bugs will get everywhere. And the other thing is, too, in a lot of these situations, the virus is airborne. So even if you die of natural causes... Eh, it's not really worth it for us right now. Even if you die of natural causes, you still become a zombie... So, if if a bug dies, if you have, like, living okay bugs in your vicinity, and those bugs die, they're still gonna become zombies. I don't really care about Dreamcatcher either. I just want to find my freaking item room and get the hell out of this floor. This run's gonna be a free win. I, I am thinking about going to Beast right now. I'm not gonna lie. I, I am considering the Beast path, but it, it it's... I'm gonna need something... A little bit bigger to persuade me that you're you're on the right track that's for sure uh diplopia opens the door as we saw in yesterday's andromeda run to a little bit more i got pushed when i walked into this room what was that yeah dude you know what scatter bombs i can live with that why don't you go fight your boss hold diplopia it, it's time to say goodbye to the pony I know you guys all love the pony, but it's killing our clot friend, making the run worse, and also, like, we don't actively need flight. We're gonna find another way to get flight here pretty soon, I feel like. Take this, take this, and keep on going. A soul of Isaac with Diplopia, and with the, the Your Soul Trinket. You know what? I think even if we go to beast like this, we'll find a way to get powered up enough where it'll be worth it. So what I'm gonna do... I'm going to pop this. Don't forget your fool card. My cat is clawing at my leg right now. Everybody say hi to Beauty. Uh, this this is, oh my gosh, she's scratching my arm. If I lose the run, it's because of Beauty. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to pet her. You know what, Beauty? Hi. 
How was your nap today? She napped for a while. Her and the other kitty have not been getting along very well. Uh, a lot of fights, actually probably their worst fight happened earlier today, where Zimby came barreling out of our bedroom into the living room, and when Beauty hates when Zimby moves fast, because that's what kind of scares Beauty, is like Zimby could like probably kill her within three seconds of seeing her and like in her eyesight. So whenever Zimmy moves fast, Beauty gets like awfully defensive, like she's scratching me right now. You're okay, Beauty. I'm just playing a, a oh, she's looking up here. She wants to play Isaac with me. Beauty co-op run? Nah, I wouldn't do that to her. She'd probably suck at this game. Because <laughs> she's a girl, obviously, right? Not because she's a cat. They'd be great at this game. Uh, Guppy's in the game, that's for sure. But Zimmy came barreling out of the bedroom and like Beauty was ready for it. Beauty like turned around his dead Zimmy, Zimmy got freaked out and like jumped in the air, lost her footing and slid like five feet across our wood floor into the dishwasher. Then Beauty like followed up with like a, a bat, like she went like, oh, hold on, like this right into her stomach. And Zimmy, oh, that scared me. Zimmy ran right back into the, uh, the bedroom uncontested. Marbles, we already have so many good, tr I can't take it right now. I have so many good trinkets. I just gotta find my dang fool card. I gotta find my dang item room, and there's my dang shop as well. Now all we're missing is the dang fool card. Shop, please be good. Not Diplopia good, I wanna save that for like a devil deal, but okay, well, it's a greed fight, so disregard pretty much all that I just said there. Do you guys, oh, I can upgrade the tanks with this mod? That's kind of insane. Uh, I'm out of upgrades for those. The last thing to check before we go find our skull is you. I'd like to. I'd like that. That for the the future boss fight of the run is going to be crazy. If we can find a way to like not waste diplopia, I can just do this. It's not here. I guess a seizure warning. Okay, it could be in this room. Look for the smiley face in the eye. It's not here. It's not any of you. I got, a, I got a lot more to check. There it is. There's the Tinted Skull. You guys can't see it, but it's right there with the smiley face in the eye. Thank you for the Fool card. The only thing is, if we get an Angel or a Devil deal right now, we won't be able to use Soul of Isaac with Diplopia, so I'm a little bit scared of that happening, although it's not like the, 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 the biggest worry I have right now. Get all your clock friends together. You, you do a lot of damage. Like, you shouldn't be scared to go to Beast. I know it's not the greatest Beast run of all time, but we did get a deal. I hope the Soul of Isaac is not going to be missed right now. Uh, doesn't matter what you take here. Oh, it's not going to matter because we can actually... What we can do here is uh, the Plopia, and we can pick up... This is double Godhead... I'm going to say it's good to get double Godhead. It gave us Seraphim, and it also gave us a lot of extra damage, so... Yeah, I'm <laughs> I'm pro double godhead. Uh, where did you leave the Isaac soul? And I guess it's time to, to head on down to the beast fight, then. Oh, wait, hold on, Anima Sole. Don't forget about Anima Sole. Now head down to the beast fight. Uh, I think 4.5 volt is actually a good thing to take. I know it might decrease our charge time. Ooh, una okay, we got three pills here. Power pill, a luck upgrade, and a range upgrade. All very, very nice. Uh, but I think it also is a good chance to make 4.5, because we have so many tiers coming out at once right now. Our DPS is going to be a little bit crazy. It, it might make Anima Sole like, keep bosses in stun lock forever. It kind of just depends on how it's going to charge with the Clot Friend tiers uh, versus our own damage. If it is bad, I don't think we're missing out on much. I would say the only thing to worry about when you have this is just don't stop an enemy in a rough place. But that's like with every active item, right? This gives us, oh my god, Crackling Slag, quite possibly one of the best quarry items in the entire item pack, despite there being like literal like run-breaking items in that pack as well. I love Slag. I think it makes your tears funny and also it's fun to look at flaming anything in this game i will take fire mind no matter like what it, it, it could give me a damage down and i would still take it i think fire effects are fun even if they do hurt you is that everything you wanted to see on your floor i think it is all right well goodbye and yeah dude all right let's uh cut to the freaking chase then 
All right, it's time to go fight Beast. We have quite a lot of clot friends to help us out here. Plus, we have full HP. We can sit here and get rid of our HP, then do a full heal at the bed for once again, even more. What's that card? Lover's card for even more, even more. Uh, the parasite effect is not making this grinding any easier. Let's walk into here. We can upgrade something? No, we cannot. All right, keep firing your tears. Get down to, to one heart. I guess you want to get to zero HP because it might lag our game, but the more clot friends you have, the better. We can Soul of Isaac this for Mom's Perfume. Hey, I will turn a better chest upgrade into a shot or a tier rate upgrade any day of the week. Keep on walking back. We're going to crush this. Double Godhead in, at this time of the year, at this, in this part of the country, brother. You're asking for pain. All right, get rid of this. I'm not nervous for this fight. I'm more anticipating the shredding we'll be doing during this fight. You have to, of course, lose HP now so you can get um, back to your Dark Prince's crown bonus. But even without Dark Prince's crown, there's no shot we lose this. I mean, just one of our tiers shoots out like 30. This character, with their low tier rate, ironically has one of the highest tier spread to feel like out of any character in the game. We'll go for one more. And then we'll activate the fight. Move down. Alright, there's a mimic door down there. I don't know how that's going to work during this fight. All my clod friends ganged up here. Dude, the game is running at tw like one frame a second right now. Are you seeing this? I can freeze the TV. Okay. I'm going to pop Lover's card so I have it popped already. You're already... Wait. No, oh, TV did not die, did it? Wait, it's frozen? I have to unfreeze the TV. I kind of want to go in here, though. Wasn't there, like, a mimic door we could use down there? Camera, please. Can we, can we walk in here? For science? Oh, cool. Uh, uncertainty. Yeah, I don't care about any of those. Hey, we're back in the first phase. Just freeze the TV. This should take, like, three seconds. But all my clock friends, they feel like they're all gone. All my apes gone. Stolen. Okay, okay, I understand. I, I feel your pain. You're killing all of my boys right now. Please do not do that. Also, Anima Soleil does charge out, like, very, very fast. Okay, group them all together. When you start attacking, freeze you. And that half a heart, be careful. Well, for my clot friends. You could still attack with this move. When you're frozen? Interesting. Uh, I'm going to pop it. Because I want to get back to Dark Prince's crown over anything else. So I'm going to pop the, the Sumpatorium. We're just going to hold down fire here, and this should take mere moments. Look at this. He can't do anything. He's frozen. He's getting Godhead tiered. $3 bill is making our tier rate insanely fast right now. It's about to break, so be ready for it. Oh, he's already in his second phase. I guess that makes sense. You're one heart, half a heart away. He fired a one- that one single tier was his only attack he was able to do on us. What an OP run with not that OP of like... If you were to look at this run... You'd be like, yeah, it's a pretty good run. But with this character... It's just so much more. It frees you. Let go of your firing button every once in a while so you don't get soomed on yourself. That was a close one. Okay, let go right there. I mean, what do you... If you're Pestilence in that situation, like, what is there to do? The answer is nothing. Come on, War. Taking forever back there, man. How, how are you the laziest out of all the horsemen? You're War. Okay, hold it down. I think we have, like, quad shot right now. Okay, I'm gonna freeze while you're holding the bomb in your hand. That should make the bomb, like, explode on top of him. That'd be very funny, I think. We have, like, yeah, we have quad shot or something happening to our tears right now. Well, he's dead. 
He got no second phase at all. What is that thing in the top left of my screen up there? You guys seeing that? Is that like Dogma's TV? I have no idea. I don't even care, bro. The, the, the fight's over. The tanks are going crazy up there. Life is good. These are a bit worrisome. Once the size go away, you can pop soup so it only targets you. Okay, there we go. We only have like three clot friends left, which sucks. And now I, I just used one of my last guys. Okay, I don't want to lose Dark Prince's crown above anything else, so pop that. And you want to have two clot friends now, and this is the way you want to fight Beast. Alright, just pray. I'm going to go a little bit gamer focus. Our HP <clears throat> is not looking incredible right now. And I froze a freaking stalactite. Alright, that makes sense, game. Are we stuck beneath it? Wait, you can you can get beast stuck beneath a freaking stalactite? Alright, well, you learn something new every single day, I guess. I didn't mean to do that. That was too much. Run it back. Beautiful. Look at this damage we can do. I'm gonna lose my boys back there for sure. Okay, just hold your fire down. Okay, just teleport to the second side, all right. And that's gonna be time here in just a second. If you enjoyed the run and my commentary, a like and a comment does go a long way for a small channel like mine. Freeze him. Hold on, I want to get frozen again. He does get frozen behind those. That's interesting. Never would have thought that could have happened. But anyways, enjoy the run of my commentary. Like in the comment goes a long way for a small channel like mine. In the meantime, though, guys, I have been BD1P. Peace out and goodbye.